Hello, the internet. I'm Dr. Peter Allen. During the week, I am a bioanalytical chemist, but during the weekend, I like to make videos about the random things that interest me that are usually science or science fiction related. This weekend, I want to talk about Yaupon Holly, which is a plant from the southeastern United States that has the distinction of being the only plant native to the continental United States that makes a significant quantity of caffeine. Now, I don't know if that can grow where I live in the Pacific Northwest, but I'm going to give it a try. And in the meantime, I bought some from Amazon fire roasted Yaupon leaves to try as a tea just to see if I liked it. And if it grows, you know, it's fun to have a source of your own de favorite phytochemicals. And we'll see how that works out for me. Probably not well. Probably need to grow a lot more Yaupon holly than I care to drink, but we shall see. Just to try it out, I bought this commercial Yopon Brothers Yopon Holly Tea. It suggests steeping for at least five minutes in very hot water, which I will do. I'm a pretty experienced coffee drinker, not so much with tea, and I don't know if that's long, but it seems long to me. While that steeps, let's talk about my favorite phytochemicals. Ethanol comes from fermentation of grapes, apples, any number of grains. If you want to make beer, you need to add some hops. All of those can be grown in North America. THC and CBD are found in cannabis, also can be grown in North America. Nicotine can be grown in tobacco, also in North America. But coffee, tea, and chocolate, the major sources of caffeine and theobromine, none of those can be grown in North America. And this makes me sad. So I went looking for an alternative and found references to Ilex vomitoria, which is Yopan Holly, the scientific name. It's called that because the... Native Americans would drink a tea of the plant to excess and then vomit. Now, I suspect that may have been a misinterpretation, but I really have no idea. It could be that to get certain psychotropic effects, you need to consume a great deal of this plant. A little bit is definitely sufficient for my needs. To finish up brewing the tea, I like to add just a little bit of this honey maple syrup. Uh, I don't like this on pancakes, it turns out, but I really like it in this tea. Uh, Complements the flavors really nicely. In almost totally unrelated news, I just finished a book called Recapture the Rapture. I kind of dislike the title. I think it's a little misleading. If I were going to call it something, I'd call it Cult Leader Starter Kit or maybe Starting Cults for Dummies, but that's probably trademark, so maybe how to start a cult for fun and profit. It's really about how organizations can provide social connection and meaning in a time when we're hungry for that. And the book does a good job of going through the perils of starting organizations that provide these things and how that can go really badly wrong. Overall, really enjoyable. If you want a brief introduction, I recommend the podcast where I found out about it. Really great. Here's a short little clip. Absolutely, it is on us to tell better stories and make better art. And rather than telling people that they're wrong in those stories, reminding them how right we can be. Now, Recapture the Rapture goes through some breathing exercises as a sort of open source method for achieving the mental states some cultures have achieved with psychotropic drugs. That led me to the book called Breathe by James Nestor. It was really good, and if you find yourself interested in this, I recommend it, but I think you can get most of the value by listening or reading the short form content that James Nestor has posted in various places online. To really optimize oxygen in your body, and to allow your body to function most efficiently, you need to breathe in line with your metabolic needs, which for the vast majority of us means breathing less, and especially breathing slowly. If you like that kind of thing, I do hope you will tune in next time. Until then, we'll see you around.